So, you want to mod Serpong 2077, but you have no idea where to start. Huh. Then allow me to guide you through this journey. Now, when it comes to video game modding, generally, there's two ways to do it. Manually and through Mod Manager. Or, in this case, Vortex. And I just have to say that Mod Manager will always be a better option, unless you like hardship and rather spend your time dragging shit from folder to folder than actually playing the game itself. But specifically for this game, most of the mods can be installed through Vortex, and a couple of certain mods that might ask you to install them manually. However, I do have a trick to kinda avoid manual installation that I'll talk about it later in this video. And just to mention right off the bat, this game doesn't have load order like any other game, so that's a big W. But before we actually start, let's just take a look at some core mods that you will 100% need for most of the existing mods in this game to work. That will include Cyber Engine Tweaks, as this one acts like a console menu, Rage Script, Wait for X, Archive Extension Loader, Tweak Extension Loader, and Codeware. I'm not gonna explain how each one works because this is a modding tutorial video, not a software development class or shit like that. I will put all of the links down in the description in case you guys are too lazy to type a damn word yourself. A word of advice is you should turn Raid Mod off if you currently have it enabled because it's simply useless. At least for us players. Second word of advice is to double check the mod requirements every time you install a new mod because you might need an additional core mods that I could have forgotten to mention like any of the stuff that I am currently not using at the moment. With all that said, let's start. For real, this time. First method, manually. The mod that I'll be using as an example here is wait for x and we will be getting all these mods from Nexus Mods. Now go to the mod page. Click manual or go into the file page to make sure you are downloading the latest version. And then slow download. Well, unless you have a job. Because I don't. Now that you have the file, locate Serapunk 2077 directory. Extract the file however you like. You can even drag the file from the zip folder into the game folder in cold blood. That works too. And boom! That's it. Yeah. Now it might look easy for you, right? But to install the mod manually, it could actually be a pain in the ass when it comes to file management or uninstallation, like whenever the mod needs an update or the release of a future game update. That's where Vortex comes in. Second method, Vortex. Mod manager, whatever, same shit. Download Vortex directly from Nexus Mods. Install it and open it up. If this is your first time using Vortex, you will probably need to go to the Games tab and look for Cyberpunk 2077. And then click Manage to locate your game folder. There might be a chance that Vortex asks you to install some kind of extension. Don't fight it, just install the damn thing. Make sure you have Cyberpunk 2077 as a managed or activated game for modding. Now go to Settings. Click on Mods and check if your mod staging folder is in the same drive as your game. I have my game in E drive, so the staging folder should also be in E drive. You can also hit this suggest button and it will automatically create and locate a folder for you. Make sure hardling deployment is selected because this is what makes life easier. And now you should be set and ready to download some mods. And again, I'll be using wait for x as an example. Now click vortex and slow download. The website will probably ask you to open the application or something. Click open. It doesn't show up for me anymore because I told them to piss off and do not show me that shit again. And thanks to hardling deployment, the mod is installed and automatically deployed to your game folder. Now you can disable the mod anytime you like with one click of a button. Check for updates or even purge all of your mods and rethink your life decisions. Now, for a little trick I mentioned in the beginning of the video is that some mods doesn't have vortex download button. Oh hell no, manual installation? Well, no, you can actually download it manually and then drag it into Vortex. And Vortex will get the work done for you anyways. So, damn, life hack moment right there. Although, there might be a time where you run into a mod that looks like this, which requires you to pick and install manually. Yep, even good times come to an end. We cannot run away from manual installation forever, alright? 
and even God cannot help you at this point. And that should be it for the starter. Since this video is, well, pretty short, short as shit, I might be missing a couple of things or even a bunch of things. But worry not, shoot me any question you have about cyberpunk modding and I'll answer them. Probably. And if this tutorial works for you, then great, great. Keep modding. Maybe leave a like and sub before you go, okay? Uh, yeah. Now get out of here.